Hey, what's going on, guys? Vinny Hardy here. Welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Time, the show where I play games, games that I remember and playing and enjoying from my childhood. Today, we are playing Chips Challenge. Let me just go ahead and get started here. So, this is a game that I played a lot as a kid. Me and Joe, Joe's especially, because he enjoyed this game a lot because of the enemies, because he was a lot braver than I was. They actually scared me a lot, which is kind of weird now because. You know, now there's like really scary games. Games that aren't, you know, compared to that, then th these games aren't scary at all. But this game kind of scared me back in the day. Uh, but anyway, some of the mechanics. Screen keys can be used multiple times. I don't really know why. But anyway, we're on that level. Let's go ahead and continue along the lesson. As you can see, those are the enemies that scared me really bad. I remember I never wanted to go over there because there were those bugs. And they just, they just look really freaky. And they freaked me out really bad. But they're no big deal because they can only go along um, the wall to their left. So anyway, let's keep going. Um, go through here. As you can see, you got you gotta have flippers to swim. I can show if you don't don't have the thing. Bummer. Oops! Don't step on fire. That's good advice. Chip can't swim without flippers. What do you know about that? Anyway, let's grab the flippers. Grab those. Grab these. I want to try to get through really fast. But as you can see with the suction things, these things would generally force you pretty fast, but we have the suction shoes on, so that allows us to go slowly and get right in there. Go, bit Buster. All right. Uh, this one's actually kind of an interesting level. It uh, introduces a lot of new mechanics, including these things. You have push the button, they switch over, grab this chip here. And uh, yeah, some of this is trial and error. I'll show you what I mean here in a bit. This is down, down here. In the middle, there is a fire. So, we found that out the hard, wire, hard way. How else would you find it out? I mean, there's no real easy way to find out that there's fire behind some place. Especially when they're chips behind all the others. We're like, oh, get the chips. But no, it was not a good idea to get all those chips. So anyway, okay. Up here, grab another chip. And there's a rush over here. We got all the chips, let's go. Um, that was our first try. I know, it's amazing. So maybe these things are shooting fire very fast. Basically, every time this red thing goes by, or you push a red button, um, an object comes out that. But if we turn that off, as you can see, I can, like, there is a, that's what that object's in the box. When I push the button, it'll start going. But anyway, let's just come down here. Get that. So yeah, there's a lot of kind of weird uh, and cool gameplay mechanics that uh, kind of I've never seen explored very often, or you know, in game later games. And you see that glider will kill you, but it gets rid of that bomb, so we can get through. All right, and then this thing, there are a lot of chips that you don't need over there on the other side. You just need these four chips right here. There are invisible walls and walls that turn into walls or don't, depending on which they are. As you can see right here, there are chips, but you don't need those. There's no way to get them. So, kind of road. Anyway, as you can see, these are spies. They take your stuff. You can give them a hug. Oh, give them a hug. Nice guy. Okay. So, I guess I can show off what these do real quick. I'll just go ahead and grab the fire boots. Don't grab both things at once because you will lose them both and uh, you will be kind of messed up. Anyway, as you can see, those things kind of force me along the path. You grab that. Come along here. So those teleport things are pretty weird, but anyway, let's hop on here, continue along our merry way. One more chip left, come down here and grab it. And uh, yes, yeah, all there is to this level. Anyway, this one introduces the teeth! Run chip! Run chip! Run chip! Run chip! Oh, it wasn't reacting to my buttons, unfortunately, that cheese, uh, che the, the teeth are a little slow. Look at him, I'm just looking at him, he's terrifying. I mean... Somebody needs to make a 3D version of this game. It'd be, it would cost, or like a, a first-person game of this thing. It, it, that would like terrify me. But anyway, here's the first actual level. Nuts and bolts. This thing took us forever to get through. Um, I probably won't have as much trouble <laughs> to be honest, because I have played it so many times. It's not even funny. It's not even hard anymore. So anyway, just just be careful not to push blocks up against the wall, or you will be stuck and you'll have to restart the level. So, there you go. Go ahead and push this over here. Uh, push this down here. So actually, guys, this series, uh, Nostalgia Time, I feel like I owe it to uh, this guy called uh, Chris Howard. Started a gaming channel called Diddly Drew. And uh, yeah, he's got a lot of... 
He's, he does a lot of gaming videos, but he started this series recently, which kind of was some nostalgia games. I don't think he used the name Nostalgia Time. I think I came up with that. But uh, he did inspire me to create this series. So I feel like I, he deserves me to mention him at least at some point. So that's why I just did. So yeah, definitely recommend you check him out. Uh, if I remember, I'll put his name in the, or the uh, link to his channel, Diddly Drew, in the description. And you guys can check him out. Anyway, so you can see there are all bugs here guarding the chips. But we can grab them if we're fast. And we are fast. I mean, just look how we avoid those teeth earlier. I mean, that was crazy. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, these bombs can be gotten rid of using blocks. Just shove them in here. Okay, I, I have messed up on this I don't know how many times. It's not even funny. But anyway, just shove this over here. Come down here, get rid of that one. Come down here, be sure to grab this chip real quick. We only have four more left. Get this done. Oh, go over here. And then shove this up over here so you can shove it down. Oh my goodness. So anyway, yeah, fortunately, unlike like the fire I mentioned earlier, this wasn't that unfair. Grab those. Grab that. And this was always kind of cool to me, uh, this next part. Because basically, down here... As you can see, there's this wall, and down here, you can see where you started. So it's kind of like, oh yeah, I, was, I remember there, because this took us forever to figure out. So it's kind of interesting being able to see where we could go. And, uh, yeah, back at my, my, uh, what was it, probably six-year-old at the first part. My six-year-old mind was blown at the idea of actually being able to, you know, I don't know. I didn't have a lot of experience with video games, but anyway, as you can see, this guy right here will come around. And what you want to do is you want to make it so that he will push that button. So he will come along here and when he hits that thing, he will push the button, allowing us to get through. So let's see if this works. Yes, it works. Yes, it worked. All right, this is one of the most, it's a pretty annoying level to be, we, I've tried it so many times. We never got through it when we were kids. We, I just never figured it out. Um, first of all, there is a bug that goes around. So yeah, that's a thing. You see, there he is. So you, you, it's hard to escape him, and there is a ton of fire all over the place. As far as where, see, as you can see down there, that is where our goal is. But getting there is a huge maze, super hard to figure out, it, impossible to remember, or I don't know if it's impossible. I actually was doing a video about these bow up games over on my channel, Homeschooled Nerd, and uh, while playing through this game, I actually have done this Let's Play before. But uh, I was uh, I figured it out after a couple tries, and I was like shocked because I've n I'd never been able to figure it out before. And anyway, I think I'm gonna have to head up here because I don't think there's any way to get to it. Yeah, yeah, there's no way to get to it. See, we don't have to collect chips on this uh, this level. But anyway, there's the bug. He's probably gonna kill me soon. I mean, it's probably gonna take me a couple tries. Not gonna be first try like all the other ones. Unless, of course, he doesn't come near. Oh, what? We're running out of time already? Why? I bet I just uh, I just got started. Don't kill me, bug. Don't kill me, bug. No. Time, no. Oh, time out. Out of time. All right, anyway, I think we need to head. <laughs> Don't step on fire that fire boots. Don't step on fire with fire boots unless you're a trained professional like me. Anyway, let's head over here. Be, be sure to hurry because the bug is coming. We gotta hurry. We only have 72 seconds anyway. So either way, we have to hurry. I think maybe we go over here. Come on, let's go over here. What are we doing over here? Head down here maybe? So yeah, I think I may be figuring it out. Head down here. I wish I could kill that bug. Actually, there's some instance where you can, like, not, yeah, sort of get rid of the enemies. It's kind of funny, this game even has, like, a detailed... Don't step on that, that would have ruined my life. Has a detailed, like, uh, story about it. Basically, Chip wanted to join this computer club. I won the level! There you go! Go bit buster. But anyway, yeah, Chip wanted to join this here computer club, and, uh... Melinda, who ran it, was just like, 
you're gonna have to prove yourself worthy by solving my challenges. So Chip was like, well, okay, I'll do that. And so Chip began solving the challenges, and I just uh, did not figure this out. Okay, let's go over here. No, gotta... My word. Okay. This is actually really confusing. Okay, um, let me go up here, try this again. Okay, let's head down here. Don't quite remember how to get through all this. Uh, I've done it before. I'll be able to get through all uh, quite a few of these. But yeah, if you head up uh, here, is it? Is it on this side that we can get through? And we can get the keys. You gotta be fast, but uh, what have we learned in this game? You just gotta be fast. Alright, grab that. Alright, we're out. Okay, we're out. We're out. Now just get back. And we'll use this key. Actually, I think you can get all three keys. Okay, there's fire boots. So we can go ahead and go up here. Yeah, ice also just slip slides you right through. That's actually a level that the entire thing you're just pressing down. And the hint is the name of the level. All you gotta do is press down and you'll be able to figure it out. Anyway, we have two more chips left. Let's try to get through this before the time runs out. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. I apparently went the wrong way. Let's go over here. Uh, let's go. Oh, good thing I didn't mess it up. So yeah, okay. Let's just keep this moving. Let me try to get the last key real quick before I head back to the place. There it is. It's with that that uh, jet thingy, that uh, whatever it's called. See, there's also a thing there. So let's go ahead. Just be very careful. Okay. Okay, we're out. We're out. We're out. Let's just get back to our place, and we'll be able to finish up this level. There's, as you can see, there's our goal. This is another one of those levels. Actually, I think every level took us quite a while to figure out how to get through. Like so many, just so many hours sunk into this game trying to figure everything out. It probably made me smart. That's probably why I'm so smart now. Anyway, let's grab this thing. So now we can swim and go on ice. Let's just go ahead and grab the chip real quick. Er, swim. No, I said swim. Get it. Go. 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 Anyway, let's go up here. Okay, get one more chip and get to the level and the level. Okay, go. All right, excellent. Just get through here, and we did it, guys. We did it. Oh, what's the next level? Let me just figure out real quick. Oh, hunt. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. So, instantly, there are a lot of teeth down there. So, be very careful. Be, I be very careful. There they are, the teeth. Two of them. So, there are like 600. You don't have to get all the chips, thank goodness. You just gotta get a certain amount. And then get the, uh... Get to the thing in the center, which will allow you to exit the level. So, that's all you gotta do, really. Anyway, let me just clear these out real quick. Just be careful not to let the, che the teeth know. Because they can figure things... Actually, they can't figure things out. But uh, if you accidentally go too far over, then they'll get to you, and then they'll be able to kill you. So you want to keep them behind a wall of chips. This is another one of those... Yeah, yes, yes, this is another level that took us a while to figure out. There are still levels that I can't beat even now. So, it's not like, I don't know. No shame on, uh... Shame on me now! That was dumb! My word! Okay, let's just clear these out right here. Okay, be careful. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Okay, let me remember this middle spot right here where I started. Let's go over here. So many chips. There's so many chips. So fortunately, the only enemies you have to worry about are the teeth, so... It's not a horribly big deal. Just start clearing them out. Oh man. 
It's just, it's just like minutes upon minutes of collecting these chip things. Like, why would you even need this many computer chips? No matter, let's just collect them. Collect a bone, collect a bone. This is, this is really, this is really fun. It is kind of, actually kind of an interesting level though, because you just got so many chips that you're collecting. Hundreds upon hundreds. And then one mistake. Because, you know, it's easy to get careless when there's so many chips. But, uh, you make one stupid mistake like I did, and you're back to, uh, needing to collect 500, and... It's not always the best thing in the world. Let's go over here. Fortunately, the teeth aren't as fast as you, so... That's kind of a good thing. Definitely a good thing that the teeth aren't as fast as you. Because if they were as fast as me, then... I almost messed up again, guys. I almost did. Okay. Gotta be more careful. Let's go over here. Are we almost done? We still have 234. At least we're learning the best way to, uh, quickly... I can take out the corner, right? Yeah, they can't go through corners. Good. Not that it matters. I used to think you had to collect all of them, which would be really hard. But you do not have to collect all of them. You can leave quite a few, actually. Still up. Anyway, let's go ahead and collect these. Okay, how are we gonna do this, guys? We have a couple options. Alright, we can, like, trap them behind an area, because they can't figure some things out, like I said. Alright, let's try this. They're gonna come up here. Run! Okay, they're, they're separated now, that's not good. Run! No, no, chip, 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 get over! Run, chip, run! Chip, run! Oh, he's fighting us, oh my goodness, this is not good. This is not good. Run, run away from said teeth. You run away from teeth. Keep an eye out for teeth. They can guess it's anybody in the ball game. Okay. They are trapped in there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We won! We won! Alright guys, this is gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and let me know if you remember playing this game or if you remember playing any other games from your childhood and I'll check them out here on Nostalgia Time. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Let me change the music. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, this is South Pole. I can get through this one real quick. Down. 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 This is where it gets crazy. Ah, oh, this is where it's getting crazy. Oh, we. You know, you know, they're just having fun with this. You know, when, when you see things like this, you're like, yeah, they're just having fun. Anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because there'll be more videos coming out. Actually, there's a new one every single day. So anyway, let me know what video you like. I mean, uh, what game you'd like to see me cover next on the Soldier Time. And on that, I will see you all next time. Until then, take it easy. I am out. <laughs>